What's up guys? Welcome back to our video. It's Alex over here. We're in the trails with the Mongoose Otter. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and review the Rock Chucks Judy. This is a 29 inch Rock Chucks Judy Boost with 130 millimeters of travel. And we're gonna see how that thing works. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're uh, back, welcome back. If you haven't, please turn the notification bell on. If you want to support the channel, check the affiliates in the description below. And other than that, let's ride. We are about to enter the fourth section. And before I started recording this, at the beginning of the ride, I did notice something. That the fork wasn't moving too much. So then I looked at the lockout knob. And apparently it doesn't have like like a in-between placement so it's either open or close so when i had it over here if i felt it very very stiff and barely moving so then put it over here and now much better now besides that we also have the rebound at the bottom and i already have it set up for me so after that the lockout mistake that i had well before that i did not have i was getting all the feedback into my arms for the slows and the bigs and everything yeah all those roots no problem. Now remember, this is a Rock Sox Beauty. One of the lowest end on the Rock Sox fork lineup. But for the price that you can find them sometimes, under $200. And sometimes you can have this with a quick release. And also, Spray steer tube, which is gonna get to many of the uh, entry level riders that are progressing. Now, let's see. Hopefully, I don't crash. And you guys were able to see better than I have. Climb. So right after the duty, you have the recon. Both of them on the lower end, but the difference is that this one has a 30 millimeter extension. Recon has 32 millimeter extension. So like I said, this is a great entry level for it. Would I recommend it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I ran a fork like this, same configurations, for a year and a half on my first build on the Axum. Never had any issues whatsoever. Right, what's up guys? We're back over here in the garage. We finished up the uh, trail review. Taco is trying to get in. Taco, come here. Taco. And Taco. Taco. He's opening the door. Well, we just finished the fork trail review. I have a review on the actual full trail review on this overall build you probably already seen it i don't know which one is gonna come first but let's see we have a rock shucks judy silver tk it's an air fork with the lockout and it also has rebound adjustment is boost 15 by 110 
and it has 120 millimeters of travel and that's the setup that I have on this fork. Okay, before we start with the uh, review, uh, this is the end, my final thoughts. Make sure if you made it this far, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on. If you like this fork, check the affiliate links in the description below. I will also leave some of my other forks that I have run and that I have experience with and that I like. Check them out in the description below and I think I have a review on all of those as well. So let's go ahead and get started. As you saw, hopefully the clips were okay and you were able to see the, the rebound and everything like that. So let's see. At the beginning, before I started recording this uh, review, I noticed that the fork wasn't moving too much. And then when I stopped and like do a Wolfman Dino, I noticed that it wasn't moving too much. So I ended up seeing that this thing right here, the lockout knob is really just a lockout or open. There's no like in between position. So it was kind of like at, at, at the one o'clock position and it was pretty stiff. So once I looked that out, I just put it up right at the uh, 12 o'clock position facing forward and that actually opened the fork up really well and the sensitivity came back. Now, let's remember, this is a probably one of the lowest end options from RockShox. It's a RockShox Judy and then after that, this is a 30 millimeter diameter stanchion. So it's on the lighter duty fork. But the, the good thing about this is that I seen them from anywhere from $189 to $230 all the time in Amazon. And you can also find them on the uh, Amazon warehouse for cheaper than that. So keep an eye on that. Whenever you check the affiliates in the description below, scroll down to, if you're doing it on the phone, scroll down, see if you have use from, or if you're in the computer, check on the right side to see if you have different options to buy them and you might be able to find them as an open box item, which most of the time, and for me, my experience so far, I have never received anything that was actually used. It seems more like they just open it and return it. Now, what I like about this RockShox Judy, this is the second RockShox Judy that I had. The first one, I run it on my Blue Accent for over a year and a half with zero issues whatsoever. It was almost the same configuration, except that it was 130 millimeters of travel. This is 120, but I think there's a way to just open this thing up, remove a spacer, and it'll give you the 130, maybe even 140 millimeters of travel. And whenever I get to do maintenance on this thing, that's probably what I end up using it and keep you guys posted on that. But other than that, this, like I said, this is an entry level fork. So for my type of riding, as you guys know, I'm not a big jumper, I go around the ramps. So for my type of riding, my type of trails, this is probably more than enough. Now, I'm, me and myself, I'm on the heavier side, so I would like a better, a wider diameter stanchion, hence the Rock Shock, the Rock Shocks Revelation that comes on my uh, TA, the Radon 34 that has a 34 millimeter, the Rock Shocks 35 is also a 35 millimeter, so everything's out over 35, 34 millimeters diameter that I have. Now, I'm not saying anything about, about it because it never broke on me. It hasn't broke, broken on me, so I have nothing bad to say about that. Taco, welcome. Taco, come in. Te vas a meter? Come on. Say hi, Taco. I think it's about to rain. That's why he wants to get in. Now she is going to make a lot of noise, so I'm just gonna close the door for a little bit. He is super afraid of uh, thunder, so that's why he's acting a little bit weird. Now, let's get back to this. What I was saying that uh, the 30 millimeter extension, I'm, I weigh 220 pounds, so I never had any issues with it. And I don't think I will ever have any issues with this fork. Again, this is an entry level fork, and, but the thing, the beauty about this fork is that you can actually find it in different configurations. You can find it on boost, which is what I have, and you can also find it on quick release. So if you have like a, a bike like this stock and you don't want to replace the wheels, you can get the quick release version and not worry about spending money on a new wheel. However, if you get, if you do have a boost wheel or at least uh, something like that you can or a hundred uh, 15 by 100 you can get the spacers 
and fit it in here. And I think they also sell the configuration for 15 by 100. So if you're into that, check on that. But if you're getting a 15 by 100 over the 15 over 110, I will go with the 15 by 110 because it's more future proof. That's why I got this one. Now, the original Judy that I had, I paid retail price. I don't remember what it was. It was closer to $300. Like I said, I seen this and I put links before when I see them for around $186, $210, $230. That's a great price for this work. Now, I did not pay that price. I actually got this from the Facebook marketplace over a year and a half ago from a guy local and I ended up picking it up over here in the, almost in the corner of the neighborhood for only $80. So that's what he had it for sale for $100. He, he, I offered him 30, I mean 80 and he said yes. So that was one of the opportunities that I couldn't pass because you can actually put them on any entry level bike and it's a good reliable fork. Uh, I don't know if you saw but I hit some of the jumps that I usually hit and that thing never bottomed out. I didn't hit them as hard as I wanted to because it was way too wet, but that thing has over, a, over one inch of travel left. So like five centimeters, it's almost two inches right there. So like five centimeters of travel left and it gave me no problems whatsoever. On the roots, felt good, no problems. On the jump, it felt good. I, had, I really have nothing bad to say. If you wanna get a good entry level fork for your Walmart bike, the Judy. Get the Judy, unless you can get something higher end for about the same price. Or than that, check the Facebook marketplace. You don't know what you can find. Or a pink bike or offer up or whatever you check external or search on Google, because sometimes you can find really, really good deals, either used or new, for something that, this, uh, let's say this is $269 retail price. If you wanna spend, and then you gotta pay taxes on that, that's gonna put you around $290, right? If you look, if you look, you can find takeoffs for less than that. And talking about that, takeoff from a Santa Cruz, and I just got it a couple of days ago, for a really, really good deal. This is uh, the next up from the Revelation, and it's also 150 millimeters of travel. I'll make a video about this. But I mean, if you're constantly searching the marketplace, you can find really good deals. Now, again, this is just my thoughts on the Judy. If you have a Judy, let me know the good, the bad, and the ugly about it. Let me know down in the comments below, or you can send me a message on Instagram at AlexMTV84. Let me know what you think. Let me know your experiences with the Judy. Again, I really don't have anything that bad to say about this. And uh, I would highly recommend it if you're getting into mountain biking and you don't wanna break the bank. The configurations for this fork, like I said, you have a little bit of everything. So if you don't wanna change the wheel, you can get the quick release and save a lot of money and get a really good fork. Um, other than that, I guess, uh, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far, thank you for staying in. If you haven't, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on. If you wanna help the channel, check the affiliates in the description below. I'll leave an affiliate for this one and other forks that I like in the description below. And you can also support me by becoming a channel member or buy me a cup of coffee. Check, again, just check them. Everything's down there. And I'll leave a playlist for all the fork reviews for you over here, so check those out. Other than that, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you for riding with me today. Oh, my God, I said that. But I guess I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride.